For a lot of people, it's Friday, right? Even though it's only Thursday, and then we get adjusted. Hey guys, how's everyone? Hey Mark in Arizona. Hey Ryan. Hey Nicole. Hey Floyd. Oh, you guys like the little intro today? That was made by um, Don in Orlando. I'm not very tech savvy, so I don't know how to do all that shit myself. But if you want to make me one, you can. I'll use it. You can email it to me like he did. It's kind of nice to have imaging. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Uh, Tracy says, I got in. Yay! I'm glad you made it. Woo! Uh, Troy, on the road to L.A. Ooh, I wish I was. That sounds like fun. I want to go to L.A. I'm stuck in New Jersey. Where it's all like overcast. I'm on the toilet again, says ins Insignificant. Okay. Well, I hope you're not having any problems. Um, yeah, I wish I was in California. It'd be a lot better than being in New Jersey. Ugh. The weather has just not been great. It's been okay, but not great, which is irritating, but whatever. I'll lower this a little bit so I can get my head above all the comments. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, you guys are all over the place. So I was thinking, hey, Romy, come here for a second. Because I want her involved in this conversation. Come here. I was thinking something. Come here. So Romy gets really irritated. Come over here. Get closer. Romy gets really irritated when we have to go check my post office box. Right, Romy? Because you don't like to go check it, right? But I was thinking, what if we had the listeners send us postcards from all the states? And we collected all 50. Would you like it then? Mm -mm. Still wouldn't like it? I would it. You're such a dork. Oh, I I to she doesn't like it because she wants to go and she wants to um, see all of her friends at school. And whenever we have to stop at the mailbox, it delays that. But anyway, I think it would be super fun to, as a summer project for Romy, if we got a map <laughs> and we had people send... Romy postcards from all the states. I think that'd be pretty... I mean, I think Alaska and Hawaii might be kind of hard. But, I mean... I want Hawaii! We can make it happen, right? Everyone thinks this is a great idea. Yeah. Wow. No Hawaii! All right, go play your game. Go, be gone. All right, so, I think this would be fun. Can you tweet out your P.O. box? I can, but you can also look at it. Because, look, I have it right here and ready. See? There I am. Super easy. Um, I think it would be super cool, though, if this summer, as a project, and what I'll do is maybe I'll draw, like, a map of the United States, and then we can put them on the map as we collect them, right? So that's what we're going to do. I've already decided. I'm going to tweet about it later. I will tweet the address, but I want to collect... 50 postcards from 50 states and see if we can collect them all. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, because when you drive around in Wyoming, a lot of tourists come by to see Yellowstone and things like that, and they all came through the area where I live, and um, we used to collect license plates. So we would, throughout the summer, see if we could see all the license plates from all around the country, and we would kind of keep a list of them. So I, I figured this would be like a version of that for Romy. Right? So that's what I'm thinking. We're going to collect postcards from around the United States as a summer project for Romy. Whether or not she wants to do it or not. I think I want to do it more than she does, but whatever. Uh, I can read the comments, but the video and sound are not working. Frustrating. Oh, that's not good. Uh, draw a generic map and tack on what you like. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We will tack it on as we get each state... We will try to see if we can get all the postcards. Can we send them from outside the USA? Sure, why not? If you're going somewhere super cool, I dig that. That'd be fun. That'd be really cool, actually. Yeah, I like that idea. Then she can have some from around the world. Not want to see your face, not only teeth. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry? Mm, I don't know. What's going on? Crazy. Speaking of states, I'm wearing my other Wyoming hat today. My other 
307 hat. This is the one I really love from my friend Sheila. And this is the greatest hat. Love this hat. Makes me very happy. Want to see, want to see your whole face. Is only part of my face showing? What if I make it like this? Now all you see is my nose and my mouth, barely. <laughs> Show the address again, please. Okay, here we go. It's Romaine Patterson, 328 Green Pond Road. And the P.O. Box is 273 Hibernia, New Jersey, 07842. Ooh, there it is. Okay. I know you can chat. I don't know what Damien's yelling about. Uh, everyone's telling Damien, close your keyboard so you can see everything. That way you don't have to see all the comments. Uh, my goodness, my goodness. So many technical issues. I feel like I have the worst technical issues ever. <laughs> I have the best smile. Oh, well, thank you. I like to think that my face is getting slimmer now that I'm on a stress diet. So, um... You know, I'm not eating as much because I'm stressed out. Plus, I'm poor. And, you know, with poor comes no food, which means skinny romaine. Uh, in fact, the last time I was skinny, uh, I was poor. It was before I started at Sirius, and I was super duper poor. And all I could afford to eat was a um, slice of pizza a day. That was it. And I got really skinny. But So maybe I'll get skinny again. I mean, the psychic said I was going to, so... Whatever, we'll see. I hope I get skinny again. That'd be hot. Woo, think of the trouble I could get into. Mm. Okay, so some people have been um, stress diet. No more junk food. That's right, no more junk food. Actually, speaking of food, so yesterday, it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. Uh, I made the best pulled pork I think I've ever made in my life. Now... I'm not a cook. I don't even like cooking. Uh, but, you know, as I said, a sip of soda. That's true. I do. I am allowing myself one soda a day. That's it. No more. No more than one. Mm. My first one of the day. And my only one. So, anywho. What was I saying? Pulled pork. So, I now that I have uh, all this time at home, I feel like I'm a real lazy ass if I don't at least cook dinner for the family. So the other day, uh, we had bought some pork roast of some sort. Iris had bought it. Because, you know, she only eats um, meat and vegetables, pretty much. So, I got this big old hunk of meat. And I didn't have all day to do, like, the slow roast on a, like, pulled pork that you usually would do. But I read up on it online. And they said, the easiest way to get it so that you, if you don't have, like, eight to ten hours, I had like five, was to slice up the roast into like thick pieces and then put it in the, the, the sauce that I made. So here's what I did. So fucking easy. I couldn't believe how easy it was and I couldn't believe how fucking good it tasted. So I put some beef broth in, sliced up an onion, threw that in, kind of chunky, threw that in. Uh, I got some chili powder, put that in there, put in some other kind of red powders like paprika and I don't know, fucking a little bit, not very much, a little bit of Chipotle, just a little bit, I just threw it all in there. Whatever I had up in the cupboard, I just threw, if it was red, and it looked like some kind of pepper, I just threw a little bit of it. Mostly chili pepper, though. But I threw in a couple other little ones just to add a little more kick to it. A little bit of liquid smoke, not very much, just a little bit. A little bit of brown sugar. Stirred that shit all up. Took my chunks of pork, tossed them in there, in the little crock pot that I had. Put the lid on it, turned it up to like 350, forgot about it. Fucking A, I'm not even kidding people when I say that shit was so good. And even Iris is like, what the fuck did you put in this? It's amazing. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, but it was fucking good. <laughs> so Romy is obsessed with it. Romy has wanted that, she calls it that meat, that meat I made the other day. She's asked for it. Uh, she asked for it yesterday. She ate the last of it for lunch yesterday. Then she asked for it for dinner yesterday, but it was all gone. And then she woke up this morning and asked for it again. So today I went out and bought another roast uh, so that I could make her some this weekend. So we're going to have pulled pork again. But, oh, man, it's fucking good. Oh, it was so good. And tonight for dinner, I'm going to make some uh, chicken fajitas. 
with some bell peppers all sliced up in there and some onion. Ugh. I don't even like to cook. That's the thing. I fucking hate cooking. But I really would be an asshole if I'm home all day and I don't cook my wife dinner, right? It's kind of how I feel about it. And then I got to bake some cookies because I don't know about you guys, but this is a busy weekend for me starting tomorrow. So if you don't see um, like long periscopes from me this weekend, it's because I'm really, really busy. I'll try to do some short ones here and there. Yes, I know. We're going to do some dildo whisper. Don't worry. Uh, so this weekend, we're going out to the island, to the gay island, Kevin and Christopher's island that Derek and I talk about all the time. He's going to be there too, I believe. Um, and then tomorrow, Romy and I are going over to a friend's house to um, swim in their pool, which is going to be super awesome. And I'm looking forward to that and just kind of relaxing and having like a, like a fun day with some of my friends. Um, so... But you can't go to these places empty-handed, right? Like, that's just rude. You just you just don't show up at someone's, like, awesome house where they're, like, having a big shindig and just show up empty-handed. So I have to do some baking. Um, I decided I would make some cookies. I have these one cookies, these little M&M cookies that people fucking love, and they, they scarf them up. So I'm going to make, like, a big double batch of those, take some tomorrow, take some on Saturday out to the island. That's my plan. I would order one, and you can ship them here. Of my cookies? Girl, you crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, island scope. I might do. Yeah, maybe maybe Dirk and I will do a quick periscope from the island. Although, the Wi-Fi out there is a little scary. I don't know that we can, but um, we'll try. All right, my phone did something weird. I don't know what goes on with my phone, but every once in a while, it's like it resets itself in a weird way when I'm doing these scopes. It always freaks me out. It says to me, uh, all of a sudden, uh, oh, guess what? We're not saving this recording. Because my phone has not been auto-saving these fucking things, which has been a real bitch, by the way. Because I like uploading them to uh, YouTube. And then this stupid thing fucks up, and I can't. Whatever. Okay. All right, so let's talk. Um, uh, I had some people... Are you watching Big Brother? No, I'm not watching Big uh, Brother because, frankly, I don't got that kind of time. I mean, I do have that kind of time, but I don't have that kind of time. As it is, I have been uh, watching, watching, watching the Alaskan Bush people, which I cannot get enough of. And here's the thing. It's a weird fucking show. I will be the first one to say it. It is a weird fucking show. But I will give these weird ass people one thing. They are hard motherfucking workers. I don't know that I have ever seen people who work as hard as these people do. And we're not just talking about, like, work behind a desk. Like, physical, manual, labor, hardcore work. These people work. They are not afraid to work. They are all about it. And they just want to be fucking left alone. They want to live out in the middle of fucking nowhere in their weird-ass houses made of tires. And they just want to do their thing, but they are not afraid to work for their what they have. And I have to say, as weird as they fucking are, I have a tremendous amount of respect for their work ethic. I mean, there is not a day that they don't work. What show? It's called The Alaskan Bush People. It's a weird show. <laughs> But I am obsessed with it. I can't stop watching it. And I think part of it is because it kind of reminds me a little bit of my family. Like, they're, you know, the guys that are the hunters and the fishermen and blah, blah, blah. Because my dad and, and a couple of my brothers were very much like that. And then it's like a family of seven kids, which is totally like my family. So I love watching the inner dynamics between the siblings. Whatever. It's a weird show. I spent all day yesterday watching it and most of today. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I'm all caught up now. So now I don't have to watch anymore. At least I hope I don't have to watch anymore because it's a little out of control. <laughs> and I was going to get mad at me if I don't actually get some work done. Although I did work on my resume a little bit. I've been doing that a little bit every day until it's eventually going to get done. Oh, I hate writing a resume. It's so hard. It's so stressful. Like, I don't know what people want to see. I don't know. And, and I'm like, how do I express how awesome I am on a piece of paper? Oh, it's so hard. Uh, loving the shirt row. This is another Johnny Cupcake shirt. This is actually one of their classic shirts. I love this shirt too. It makes me very happy. Um, someone said they like today's hat better than yesterday's. Thank you. I like this hat. This is my favorite 307 hat of the two that I have. I would, I could always have more, but whatever. Writing resumes suck. Yes, it does. It sucks hardcore. I'm not a fan. And now I gotta write a cover letter. Ugh. Oh, that makes me want to die, too. Don't even want to think about that. Ugh, that one. Maybe I'll let Iris write my cover letter, because I really fucking, I hate writing. I'll do it, but I don't like it. 
Okay, so let's do um, some dildo whisper stuff slash sex bird stuff. I know some people had questions, um, and uh, I'm curious as to what they are. I did get one. Hold on, let me see if I can find it on my email behind behind me here. It's it's actually in front of me, but it, it's okay. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can find it because uh, I did have one. Oh nope, that wasn't it. Boop, boop, boop. Where did it go? Hmm. Sorry, I should have had this ready. I can tell you though that one of the questions in it was um, about where to find smaller butt plugs. Um, because, you know, a lot of times uh, when you're trying to have anal sex for the first time or maybe you're just beginning, um, it hurts a lot. And a lot I, we, This was probably the number one question we were asked uh, on the show for the sex part. What is, how do I prepare myself for anal sex? Uh, for newbies, for people who are struggling with it, for all of those things. And there are a couple, I mean, there's some very, very simple things. One. You have to have the right kind of lube. A good thick lube is going to go a long, long way. So um, I always say I like the boy butter. There's one called Maximus I like. There's a lube called Probe that's really good. Uh, things like that. Then, you know, when it comes to uh, things you can do without toys, you have to focus on your breathing. Your breathing um, is the key to relaxing. It really, really is the key to relaxing. Just think about when you go to a massage, right? And the masseuse is massaging away, and you get to that spot that hurts really fucking bad. If you hold your breath, you're going to tense up all your muscles, and then nothing's going nowhere. But if you learn to take really deep breaths and let them out slowly, uh, you're going to relax. With each breath, with each exhale, you relax. So um, that's really, really important. And it also, um, breathing is so important, not just for anal sex, but for all sex. You know, a lot of times I'll be sleeping with a girl and she'll get close to an orgasm and then she'll go, ah, ah, and she like makes this face and she holds her breath and I'm like, no, don't do it though. Your orgasm just wasn't as good as it could have been. Why? Because the oxygen you're feeding to your muscles is incredibly important. Uh, not only is it going to help those muscle contractions that happen when you're having an orgasm, but it also is going to make that, it's going to extend that orgasm. It's going to make it go longer because um, your muscles aren't running out of oxygen. So breathing is so very important when it comes to sex. And if you don't believe me um, when, I, when I talk about like people who hold their breath, the next time you have an orgasm, I want you to pay a little bit of extra attention to what you do leading up to your orgasm. Are you breathing? Are you breathing small, shallow breaths? Are you breathing deep, big, deep breaths? Or are you holding your breath? And you might be surprised at what you're doing because you've never paid attention. So pay attention the next time. And, and you can even do it while you're masturbating. Pay attention. That's how I learned how to breathe through my orgasm was through masturbation because I used to hold my breath too. And then I learned, oh my goodness. And I can, I can have multiple orgasms better because I breathe. Um, like sometimes you'll get like right to that edge and your body's like, mm, maybe, maybe not. And then I take really deep breaths, boom, right over the, right over the top. Bam. It's awesome. I believe, I heard you say it once and it changed the intensity for me. I'm not even joking. It's amazing. Who knew breathing made such a difference, right? So try that. That's a very important thing. Okay, so now in terms of toys and um, how to prepare for anal sex, there are a few toys that I always uh, recommend. One is called Ripple. It's a toy from Tantus Inc. Uh, if you go to tantusinc.com, you can find it. It comes in two different sizes, a smaller and then a larger size. And um, Ripple is an amazing toy because... It, uh, actually, you know what, maybe I can pull it up while I'm talking to you. I never thought about that. <laughs> Let me see. Um, well, what's great about uh, Ripple is that it allows your body to adjust to different size objects going in. So it kind of starts off at the top with like a small bulbous area that has a little neck. And then, oh, look at that. I think I can pull it up. Hold on. I'm almost there. Sorry, guys. I want to be able to show you this. I didn't. I didn't even think that I could do this, but I can. Ha 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 ha. Okay. All right. Here we go. Bam. All right. Let me flip this around. Boop, boop, boop. Double tap to flip. I'm okay. So let me adjust the size. So this is Ripple. Okay. And as you can see, 
each one of those little bulbous areas gets bigger as it goes towards the base. Now, obviously, the base is flared, which makes it safe for anal sex. But these little, these little indentations here, those give your body a moment to adjust while you are, you know, taking a deep breath. So you put one in, you have a moment to just kind of relax because it's nothing else is happening. Take a couple deep breaths, you can move on to the next one. It gets your body used to having having different size objects going to your into your sphincter, but also um, length. You know, as you go further and further in, it gets to be longer and longer. You know, it it really does help. Now, this is not a toy that's designed for in and out, in and out, in and out. This is just a toy that's designed to go in slowly, come out slowly. Okay. Now, let me see. All right, does that make sense to everybody? Okay, now let me see. There's one other one, and I'm trying to remember what it's called because Tantus has changed some of their uh, toys a little bit. So let me see if I can find this one. I don't know. Ah, here we go. Okay. Now, the next toy I want to show you do, 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 is a toy called Silk. Now, what's interesting about this toy, again, you notice, it's got the flared base, which makes it safe for anal sex. Okay, now what's interesting about the this um, the silk toy is that you notice it doesn't have a head, it doesn't have any ripples or bumps or anything on the shaft of this toy. Now, what makes this great is this is a great toy to practice in and out, in and out, in and out, without causing a lot of friction which your little sphincter muscle will react to. So lube this up, it's gonna slide in real smooth, it's gonna slide out real smooth. Um, and this will get your body to that in and out motion of anal sex. Those are two of the greatest toys you can buy that will help you, you know, slowly start to prepare for anal sex. Just kind of get used to the feeling of fullness that you're gonna have, the feeling of pressure that you're going to have, all of those things, um, it's going to help with a lot of that. So those are two of the best toys that I personally know of uh, to help you prepare for anal sex. Great thing about Tantus Inc., not only are they an awesome company uh, run by queer people for the most part who are completely cool and awesome, but, and they also support all LGBT stuff, which is great, um, but they also have a wonderful discount for Derek and Romaine listeners. What? So even though our show isn't on the air right now, there's still a fucking discount. DNR20 is the discount. When you use that at checkout, it should get you 20% off your purchase. Can't fucking beat that. That's a steal. What? Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> so I try, when I, you know, and the great thing about these toys also is they're 100% medical grade silicone. These toys will last you a lifetime. And I do mean legit a lifetime. I have toys from Tantus that I've had for... I don't know, 15 years, and I'm not even kidding, they're as nice today as they were when I got them. I mean, they're incredible toys. You can boil them, you can put them in the dishwasher and clean them that way. Um, they are incredible toys. Uh, did you see the article on the students working on a condom that reacts to STDs by changing colors? I did not see that, but that sounds really interesting. It makes me want to go look that up. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Uh, someone said, I hope you clean them. I clean my toys all the time. Um, my favorite toy cleaner, actually, is um, the Swiss Navy makes a toy cleaner that is comes in this like little spray pump. So fucking awesome. It's great. Don't you get new for every relationship? Well, I've been in a long-term relationship for a while, so I haven't really um, needed a lot of new toys. Typically, what I do uh, between relationships, depending on... Kind of, if because a lot of my toys are for me. I don't usually use them for sex with my partners. Um, but uh, the ones that I do, what I typically do when I'm using them with a partner is I put a condom on them. That re that way you don't ever have to replace uh, your toys. Um, and that way there's a barrier between your toy and uh, your partner. So you don't have to worry about a lot of uh, weird things. With something like um, silicone, because they are... Um, so easy to clean. I mean, really, if you use a condom on it and you boil it, um, any little weird bacteria or anything that could be growing there is going to die very, very quickly. It's pretty safe. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I do. And same thing with like, uh, for ladies out there, you know, you never want to go ask a vagina, uh, when playing with a toy because it can cause for some really nasty infections. Um, uh, but condoms, throw a condom on it. You could take a condom off. Put another one on, 
super quick and easy way to enjoy your toy in a lot of different ways. Yeah, that's what I do. I love it. And you can buy condoms so cheap, if you, especially if you buy them in bulk. <laughs> like I get like a big box of like a thousand of them or some shit. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. And I don't even, you don't even have to get special ones because I'm a lesbian. I use my own lube, so I don't even have to have them lubed up. I'm telling you, it's the greatest. Uh, since you lived in Wyoming slash Denver, thoughts on Little America? You mean that little, uh, that like hotel place that's outside of Cheyenne? I want to say it's outside of Cheyenne. I could be wrong. Uh, I've been there once, I think we stopped there. I don't know. It was fine. It had a restaurant, whatever. I don't know. It's not that great. What do you want me to say? It's the most amazing place ever? It's not. It's not. It's like a hotel with a nice-ish restaurant, if I remember correctly. That's about it. <laughs> what do you think, Sheila? Sheila's from Wyoming. She can tell you. Sheila, I'm wearing your hat. Did you see? <laughs> People like today's hat. I wore the black one yesterday. I don't know if you saw it. She said yes. Yay. Okay. All right. Do we have any other sex questions you guys want answered? I will answer them. I'll try to, don't, don't all flood it at once, but you know, uh, you and Derek ever visit Connecticut? Uh, a lot, a long time ago, a long time ago. Sheila says it's just a normal place. Nothing special. I agree. Little America, nothing special for a truck stop. It's better than average. I believe that to be true. Do you have Glenn's parody songs? We do have, we do have Glenn's parody songs. Those are ours. Don't you worry. Uh, so yes, we have them. And by ours, I mean, they're Glenn's. <laughs> But Glenn lets us use them for whatever we want. So, yes, we still have those. And um, they may make an appearance someday soon. Who knows? I don't know. What is the best non-latex condoms? Um, Lifestyles, I believe, has a really good one. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Hold on. Oh, wait. Yes, I know. It's something skin. Um, hold on. Ugh, why don't I remember these off the top of my head? Lifestyle. Let's see if I can find it. Um, Cause they do have one. I think it might be just called their skin. Yeah, they are. They're called skin. Um, hold on. I'll show you what they look like a little bit so you can see them. Burp, 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 burp. They look like this. They are non. Uh, they are non latex condoms, and they're very they're very nice. Okay. Burp, burp. Hold on. Dab. Oh wait, no. This flipping around back and forth is very challenging. Uh, okay, so yeah, so their skin is a really good condom. It's very thin, um, and it's non-latex, so it's perfect. New parody song, if you liked it, you should have put a condom on it. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if Glenn is capturing any of, uh, the audio from these silly little periscopes we've been doing. Derek was at the, um, the Yellow Brick Road today. I don't know if you guys saw that, uh, or how many of you saw that, but that's where he was at today. Uh, he was out... He was going to the city to see Magic Mike. He must have been meeting up with someone, because I can't imagine going to the city just to see a movie. It's a long fucking trek. Just to see a fucking movie. I was going to go see a movie today. But then the movie I wanted to see, the, term, the new Terminator movie, Iris wants to see it, so I didn't get to go. Who's that guy behind you? That's Daryl. He's a cardboard cutout. From, he's from The Walking Dead. It's uh, my wife's. Never thought of putting a condom on a toy. It's a good fucking idea. I'm full of good ideas. Actually, I can't remember where I learned that I where that trick from, but I did learn that trick years ago, and I have been using it ever since. Uh, it and it makes cleanup so much easier. Just saying, way easier when you throw a condom on your toy. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Makes life so much better. I'm all about making life better, but you bitches know how that is. So do any of you guys have exciting uh, plans this weekend? Anyone? Anyone? I'm just kidding. Uh, like I said, I'm going to the island. What's going behind you? Your toy collection? Well, it's my Vinylmation collection. Uh, it's, and that is the sign that I made myself uh, last summer. Guess who, guess who left the room when you started talking about sex? I can't imagine. What's what? Did I scare someone with my sex talk? I barely talked about it. 
Someone's going to be playing piano and drinking whiskey at home with my cat and playing some Call of Duty on PS4. That sounds like a fun weekend. I've been playing a lot of Gears of War 3 after my scopes, and it has been great. I've been enjoying that in the last few nights. I don't know if Iris has been enjoying that because I've been ignoring her so I could play my Gears of War. But it makes me feel better when I kill things, so I will continue killing things. Where are you guys watching fireworks? Uh, probably out at the island. They do, they do a great little, um, they do a great little display out there that I really love. Island scope. Yes, if we can, if there is Wi-Fi or a connection that we actually can. You don't play on the PS4. No, I don't. I'm not a PlayStation person. I'm an Xbox person. Sorry. I love my Xbox. I love my Xbox 360. They're two of my favorite devices in my entire house. Barbecue with a family and pool time. Now that sounds like a good time. Going to a family bonfire. Ugh, I want to go to a bonfire. That sounds like fun. I always want to set one off in my backyard, but I feel like I'd burn the whole forest down. I will be at the Equestrian Center for fireworks. Oh, that sounds nice. I wish I got, I want to go there. When I was a kid, my parents used to take me up to Billings, Montana for the fireworks up there and it was the greatest it was like this road trip we took every year and one year they gave us these like weird 3d glasses to wear during the fireworks oh my god it was so fucking cool it was the best the fireworks ever looked seriously it was amazing pool party in the desert in california Ooh, will there be any naked lesbians there That'd be fun. Sheila says we can bonfire at her house. Okay, keep that in mind, Sheila, when I come out in September. Because I might want to do that. Robert says, love you, Romaine. Well, I love you. That's all. Yeah, I do. Now that you're unemployed, you'll have to learn to love the free PlayStation Network. Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do. I do love a lot of things. But I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure I'll end up at the beach. Oh, I, I am afraid of the beach. I be, I am not a beach person. I have tried many times, but I, on a beach, I just look like a beached whale. So, mm, yeah, the beach is really not my jam. And you get sand in places. Uh, it's scary times out there. And there are sharks. No. Equal amount of dykes and queens at all of our parties. That sounds like you have a uh, good parties, Magic Bus. Um, now this Magic Bus isn't buried in the ground somewhere, is it? Anyone remember that guy? <laughs> I'll never forget that fucking guy. Oh God, he was crazy. Oh, Call of Duty. I don't like Call of Duty. It's not my game. It's too complicated for me. It's too complicated. I like Gears of War. It's simple enough. I like Halos. Just simple enough. But it's not too complicated. Those are the game. Those are my jam. Sumter Point says Halo. Yes, I love Halo. I also love Gears. Gears, I Gears has quickly become my favorite, my personal favorite. Um, I don't do story. I just multiplayer. Yeah, I hate multiplayer. And let me tell you why. Because I get into games like that, right? And this is the truth with like the new Gears beta that's going on right now. I get in. I and I'm a pretty good Gears player. I'm just gonna say it. I'm not bad. I'm okay. Not great. Not bad. But I get in there and these little fucking kids kill me within two seconds. I'm like, I just, I literally just spawned and now I'm dead. I am dead. Someone took a shotgun and blew off my face. And that's not fair. It's not even fair. I don't even know where the fuck they spawn at. So I can't go sit at their spawn pot spot and blow their face off. And what fun is that? What fun? fun is it to just sit there and wait for someone to spawn to blow their face off how about you know trying to track them down and like actually giving them a fucking fighting chance like that's fun <sighs> these little fucking kids and their crazy thumb eye coordination <sighs> I hate them and they're brutal they're mean they don't even like they're so mean they don't even care and then they'll call you a faggot after they kill you and they'll teabag you it's not nice. So why do I want to? Why do I want to fucking play with them? I uh, do not. I have no desire whatsoever to play with those little fucking shitheads. I don't like it. I don't like it. So what I like to do is play horde on Gears of War three, where it's me and my friends, usually five of us, 
and all the bads come to us, and they try to kill us, and we work together as a team to try to kill the bad guys. Now, that's fucking fun. That is fun. Because then when one of us falls down, the rest of us have to try to go save them or kill all the bad guys around them so that someone else can go save them. It's teamwork. That is what I like. Now, if we're playing Halo, my favorite game is our adult hide-and-seek. That is a game where there's one bad guy who's in one bad guy, one of us who's infected, and the rest of them have to go and hide, and then I will hunt them down if I'm the infected one, and I have to infect them with my sword. So I take my sword, stab them in the face, and they become infected. It's a lot of fun. And you would think, seriously, it's adult hide and seek. And it is. Make no no question about it. It is in fact adult hide and seek. And yet it is so fucking funny, and you laugh, and you try to, and you can't help but laugh at the fucking whoever the infected person is trying to find everyone. Because we sometimes will give them like super skills, like they'll be super fast, or I'll make them invisible, so that you can't even see the infected guy coming for you while you're trying to hide. It gets to be very fun. And sometimes people rat other people out, which is wrong, but they do it. Oh, they do it. And it is fun. And it's hard to find them. Some of those bitches know how to hide. You wouldn't think they would, but they do. Oh, my God. Just now, just now as I'm talking to you, I got a text message from my friend Steven. And he's like, look what I got. He just got a brand new case. A whole case of the Peter Pan Vinylmations. Talk about being jealous. That's me. I hope he gets a variant. Oh, well. Maybe I should get an Xbox again. Maybe you should, Lesbian Trucker. I'm telling you, I have a lot of fun on the Xbox. I do. Damn, I joined late. Girl, I sent you something today. You should get it on Monday. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. Did it come to my box? <laughs> you know, we're doing a thing now. For those of you who are late and joining us now, where throughout the summer, we're trying to collect 50 postcards, one from every state. For Romy, and really for me. So if you want to send me a postcard from your state, send it here. Uh, I'll think about it. Do you play on the Xbox 360 or One? I play on both. They have a brand new Gears game that's going to be coming out soon for the Xbox One that I'm excited about. But mostly I play right now Gears of War 3, which is on the Xbox 360. But I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for the new Gears because then I won't have to play my 360 as much. Are there serious XM competitors? More than ever. Um, in the music realm, there's so many different places that you can get music. Uh, but in the talk realm, yes, I think that podcasts are becoming a real thing. And I do believe there are going to be some podcast networks in the very near future who are going to be vying for um, the subscriber base. So yeah, I think I think uh, Sirius does have competitors more than ever. I think, um, and now that uh, Wi-Fi is becoming available in more and more cars, it's going to become even more viable that they have more uh, competitors out there. So, yeah, I definitely do. My soda is making a weird sound. I don't know what's happening, but the ice is making a noise. Do you miss the show hours? No. <laughs> I don't miss getting home at 1 in the morning. No, no, I don't miss that at all. I will say it has been incredibly nice uh, to have my evenings free. It's been 12 years since I've had my evenings free. I almost don't know what to do with myself because, like, there are times a day that I don't recognize. And it's really hard for me to go to bed before 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning. I've been trying. Last night I stayed up until, like, 1.30. I just couldn't go to sleep. I've been trying. But, oh, it's really hard. It's really hard to, like, switch my internal clock around. But I'm trying. Ugh, it's hard, though. But I do like being home at night. And, really, I like being able to spend time with Romy. That's been the nicest part about um, not having to head work for the last two weeks. But I want a job. I'd rather have a job, honestly. I'd much rather have a job. The whole not having a job shit, very stressful. My wife keeps telling me not to stress out. But I've been stressing out. Not gonna lie. It's stressful. I want a job. I don't like to be the... I'm not one of those kind of people that doesn't like to be working. I feel like I always have a job and sometimes I have two or three at the same time. But this just feels weird. So, hmm. 
Uh, okay, boy, you guys are all hot. Uh, I think you should do a whole show on your own. So good. Really? I don't know. I like, um, I like, uh, doing a show with somebody else. Uh, what's the Tantus website? Tantusinc.com. Uh, I like doing a show with someone else because it gives you a moment to stop and breathe and think. Uh, and then continue on, um, which I think is important. Uh, doing three hours by myself is would be, I mean, oh my God, I can't even imagine. I'd want to cry. Um, it's too much. It's too much. Uh, are you watching USA Soccer? Uh, you know what? I'm not a big soccer fan. Um, so, yeah, I haven't. Ink, I-N-C. Yes, Ink, I-N-C. Um, no, I have not watched the soccer. Uh, how about the head of Romaine show? You know, it's funny. I used to joke, uh, all the time that if Derek ever left the show, that is the show I would want to do. Uh, I really love head of lettuce. I think she's a hard worker and someone who's constantly thinking of new and interesting ways to entertain. And so, yes, I would consider doing a show with Hedda, but first and foremost, um, I got to be loyal to Derek. Um, someone asked just a few minutes what my sport of choice is. I'm a UFC fan. I fucking love the UFC. I think watching people beat up on each other is a lot of fun. Plus, I was a martial artist for many years, so I also really love that. Currently, though, the sport that I am watching is America fucking Ninja Warrior. Okay, it's not really called that. It's called America Ninja Warrior. But, uh I love watching that shit. I could watch, oh my god, I wish it was on every day of the week. I love watching people fall in the pool. I love watching the people who you don't think will be any good at all, and then they surprise you. That, that, and then to like train all year long for one chance and then to fuck it up on something stupid. Oh my god, it's so devastating when you see someone who's so good and then they suck. Uh, can't stand Ronda Rousey. Join the club. She seems like the biggest bitch and such a horrible sport. Oh, I hate when she wins because she's a bad sport and I hate when she loses. She's a bad sport. She's just not a nice person. I don't think she's a good person. That's just me. Oh, yeah. Not, a, and she's not hot either. I know they keep trying to put her in all these action movies and shit because they think she's hot. Oh, no. Oh, God. There are much hotter badass chicks out there. Um, if you want to see one, you should be checking out my girl, Eliza Dushku, who you may remember as Faith from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She's going to be on this season of Banshee. Oh, cannot wait. Cannot wait. Oh, she's so fucking hot. I've been waiting for her to come back to TV for a while. I love her. Love her. And she's super gay friendly. Oh, God, I wish I could make her my girlfriend. Oh, I would do that so fast. Oh. So, yeah, she's a badass bitch. That's hot. What lube can I ha use? I have real bad soy allergy, uh, and that shits in everything. Um, you know what? There's a great lube uh, called Pink, P-I-N-K. It comes in like a girly bottle, but it's a super hypoallergenic lube, and it should not have any soy whatsoever in it. Um, and it's an awesome lube. It's a really, really nice silicone lube. So try that one. Pink is a good one. And I think they might even make a water-based version. Can't remember feel like they might, but they're a good um, hypoallergenic lube. Uh, do anal relaxing lubes actually work? Um, some of them do. Some of them use uh, ingredients I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Um, I like the ones that use uh, like uh, more natural ingredients. Like there are some that use like clove oil and things like that where they numb a little bit, but not to the extreme. Um, I think those are a little bit safer, but yeah, they can help a little bit. Someone asked if I was excited about Longmire on Netflix. Duh. <laughs> I was actually so disappointed when they stopped airing it on TV. I was like, I love this show. And um, so, yeah, I'm very excited that Longmire will be coming to Netflix. I think it's a great show. Katie Sackhoff is dreamy. Um, not quite enough of a badass for me on that show, but I love her. And, you know, Longmire is based on essentially the town I grew up in. And more importantly, the um, the writer who wrote the books uh, that the series is based on is a family friend. My sister dated him, I believe, for a good long time. So, yeah, how about that? There you go. Uh, you love Katie Sackhoff. I do love Katie Sackhoff. There's actually a painting of her um, in my room uh, that I had commissioned for Iris for Christmas a year or two ago. Um, we had some, we had some, I had some paintings done for her, and I had one of her as Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica made for Iris to put in our room. Uh, 
So she's on my wall in my room because I love her. That's right. I do. Okay, bitches. Well, listen, it's almost been an hour, and I know that this stupid video of mine will not record past an hour. I have been testing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am going to log off. There will be um, a Google chat. Thank you for reminding me about that. There will be a Google chat on Sunday at 4 o'clock with Derek and I. What Now, here's what you need to know about that. Uh, if you go onto our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Derek and Romaine, or on my Facebook page or on Derek's, he will put it, we'll put up links, like a little thing that says Sunday, fun day, whatever. All you have to do is at 4 p.m. Eastern time, just click on that link and it will bring you in there. That's all you have to do. According to Derek, that's all you have to do. I'm still new to this shit too and I'm a little slow, but that's all you have to do. Um, and then I believe he does put it up on YouTube, uh, on Derek's uh, YouTube page uh, after the fact. So if you miss it, that's how you can see it. Does that make sense? Okay, so, bitches, here's what I have to tell you. Have a very safe weekend this weekend. Don't drink and drive. Enjoy the fireworks. Enjoy your friends and family. And I will try to scope when I can, but if I can't, then you'll see me on Sunday for our Google Hangout with Derek. That's 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Do not forget, you can send me postcards from your state. Oh, hold on. Oh, my phone's doing something funky. From your state, send me a postcard. We're going to try to collect all 50 states this summer. Bitches, I love you. I will talk to you later. Kisses to the bitches. Now I'm going to go play some Gears of War after I finish cooking dinner. Oh, I have to do that dinner shit first. But anyway, Gears of War later this evening. All right. Bye, bitches. We'll see you later. Take care.